the English Riviera, Torquay. For over a hundred years, one of Britain's favorite seaside holiday destinations, home to some of the country's finest hotels. And this one. Silence, Christian, Christian. Is he silenced yet? Welcome to the Grosvenor. Mount your dolphin, get set. At the helm, manager Mark. I don't pay the AA anymore. I've awarded it three stars. Long-suffering deputy Christian. The Grosvenor is different to other hotels. And I'm not blowing my trumpet here, but I think it's because I'm there. And unflappable reservations manager Alison. Stop it! I've done it already! Just put them in! Have you had the good news? You're leaving, possibly, is that it? Together, they have one summer to save this loss-making hotel. We have to win. Failure yeah. is not an option. Not, not an option. By satisfying the demands of the great British public. Where Who flock here for summer holiday fun. <laughs> bringing all their baggage with them. It's everything, not just a room, it's the hotel itself. <laughs> you know, when I go on holiday, would I stay in this hotel? Oh, My answer to that is. Um, the directors and owners of Primark probably don't wear Primark clothes. <laughs> Just started speaking to that. Hello, hello. Oh, my God. This week, love is in the air as two very different honeymoon couples come to stay. Oh, isn't it lovely? Are you a toy boy, then? She's 39 and I'm 28. Very nice, isn't it, though? Couldn't the letters have been bigger? Torquay needs something. Va -va -voom. I know everything. Excuse me. No, it's all right. I've got it. And when manager Mark decides to reopen the nightclub in the hotel's basement, his plans draw him into a conflict with his right-hand man, Christian. I have a problem if it taints other areas of the business. Because, funny enough, you in a frock, it's not offensive gay. <laughs> Torquay summer season is in full swing. At some stage, we must move that bloody monstrosity. Just stick it round the corner here against this And wall. at the Grosvenor, everything's running as smoothly as ever. The hotel, it's a bit like a school. I guess you'd call me the headmaster. And put the tacky ones back here for a minute. At least we've got a line. Trying to sort out all the mess amongst the squabbles with the staff and the day-to-day -day nightmares. The PDQ machine. Well, why don't we install the bloody thing and then oh, we can take I'll PDQs? Oh, could I just stick a frame on my backside as well? The staff are here every day. If I have a problem guest, they go home. <laughs> I think once we get open, I'll get a different... I'll get a new sign. When Mark bought the hotel, he inherited the Grosvenor's run-down nightclub. Oh, we need to light it up. Seriously, it needs to be lit up. It won't work. Nobody better see it. With just a few weeks of the summer left, Mark thinks it could be a money spinner and is planning a relaunch. It's all right. I mean, it's better than nothing. I thought you said we measured it to the bloody ceiling. Nothing wrong with it. It's fine. Yeah, it's, right. It's coming, the Queen. Is that what your curtains look like in your house, is it? Yeah, sometimes. With just a few days left before the grand opening, Mark summons his staff to brainstorm ideas for the club. I've got better things to do than to be sat here doing then. Right, club needs to be finished. The main outside sign's ordered. We then need DJ, door and bar staff, flyers and customers. Who would like to run the singles night? I'm happy to. I think you should run it. Mark wants to come up with a variety of events for the opening week. Christian, you're in charge of Thursday night, OK? The girls' big night out. <laughs> Bring it on. OK? No problem at all. <laughs> Topless bar star, exotic okay. dancers, <laughs> yay. Torquay needs something. It seems to have lost its spark. It's, it's lost its va-va-voom. OK, let's go. 106. So that's one, two, three. They go right. 106 is over here. It's not just the club that Mark wants to get right. He's giving every aspect of the hotel a rethink. Maybe we should do some stickers. I wish I hadn't taken it off now. Maybe we should do some stickers for those, you know? This doesn't stick. This is ridiculous. This looks so tacky. I'm going to have to go and get masking tape and redo all of these. To me, look, 
Room number one. one. Room number two. No, they'll follow the numbers. It's like yeah. if you can count, you can find your room. You know, if you can't count, then you don't deserve to stay here. It's no, as simple no, no. as that, you know? Mark can't resist trying out his ideas for the nightclub on Jerry, the hotel's supplier. And two for a fiver. Two for a fiver. That should bring the women, shouldn't it? Free admission, eight till nine, 190 a pint, two pound a double. And a happy hour between eight and nine. How it works, you create business first, and then you create the profit. Well, I think a lot of people go wrong, mate, is they don't put enough really good-looking bar staff on. If you've got really nice birds yeah. in a bar, blokes will go there and think, birds are in there, it's one night a pint. Yeah, but I need to attract the women. A singles night doesn't work if you just attract a load of men to come and get pissed at two pound a pint for an hour. Yeah, well, so how... all the blokes flock, then all more women. So how do we get the women, then? Yeah, then, two, get two good-looking guys. Right. right. Two T-shirts, I'm single. Singles night hat. Yeah, and two on the back of the T-shirt, two cocktails for a fiver. Ryan's all right. The lifeguard. Yeah. I mean, I'll pay him something, but I can't pay him a stupid amount of money. I can't give him ridiculous money, you know? These are all of his creations. That one is stunning. Whilst Mark's big idea is a straightforward singles night, Christian sees it as an opportunity to unleash his imagination. Look at that. It's just outrageous. Inside me, there's this little demon of a party animal just want to jump out and go, yeah, hold on, I know we do this, but what about trying this? We've got the, we've got go the topless barman sorted for Thursday night. Yeah, who, who are they? It's Ryan. What? My lifeguard. Yes, I know, but I, I, we need to sit and talk and, and finalise what's happening. Yes. OK, because everybody else is shouting at me. It's an omni night. That's what I want to be, is omni, omnisexual. What does that mean? Omnisexual. As in, it doesn't matter yeah, if you're means. gay, straight, bi, yeah, yeah, transgender, no, whatever. Right. Does anybody know what that means? I mean, if I saw a poster Omni Night, I wouldn't have a bloody It's clue. not called Omni Night. I haven't decided on the name. Right. But publicity, I've got it sorted. We need girls to come to the night. They will do. OK, all right. I'm going out in full drag with my boys half naked. I don't want to know. All I want is a full till, OK? It's going to create a stir. It's going to create something. Gay, straight, bi, doesn't matter. Black, yellow, red. It's going to be a cracking night. Okay. Mr. and Mrs. Hobson. Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Hobson, I spoke to you yesterday on the phone. Arlene and Terry Hobson from Sheffield were married in 1964. But this is their first night in a bridal suite. So you booked into the honeymoon suite? Yes. Yes. I wish I'd never asked for it now. But did you have a fallout last night? Oh! <laughs> it was just some I thought, oh, it'll be nice, you know, it'll give us a blast. Sticky mushroom pie tonight. Oh, my God. Arlene and Terry are two of the Grosvenor's most loyal guests. This is their fifth visit. We like it because it's very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Staff are very friendly and the meals are very good. Because you have a menu, you don't just shove it in front of you. Like no. You have the element of surprise. We've no. been all over the place, Skiathos and Portugal and Spain. Spain. And yeah. We've done it Turkey. all. Okay, we've done it all. I've had three motorhomes. Bush. These dudes are stronger than me. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, look at this. It'll be nice having sex in a nice bridal suite. <laughs> Yes. Soft. Very nice. When Arlene and Terry got married nearly 50 years ago, they couldn't afford a honeymoon. We went back to mother's and had, what did she have at Monday's? Fish, oh, bacon and egg and tomatoes, weren't it, yeah. Monday tea? We couldn't do it because his mother was in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just went back to... We just to... went back to sleep. That was it. <laughs> There were no uh, fancy lingerie and all this and that. It was just a night here and into bed. Three cups in honeymoon suite. What do you think we're bringing? <laughs> it's not good enough, you know, it's filthy. It you know, when you see look, this, Mark. Look, peanuts. balloons from party night still on the bloody carpet. I mean, look, even the table. Look at that table. Yeah. The problem is I I'm splitting myself so many ways trying to get all these different I things know done. You are, Mark. So I'm putting that. things in place, but then. It isn't staying in place. No, do you understand what I mean? So, it's like so I brought Karen no, in to do cool. this. They said, set all this up, Jeffy, whatever. Here's the menus. This is what we do. And then it just 
dissolves. Yeah. Mark, the problem is, is Zach. When he's here, he does no work, he's always disappearing. Knock Zach into shape. He won't. Mark, the other day, I wasn't rude to him. I said, right, I need a serious talk. Because bang on nine o'clock, Zach is out the door, doesn't say goodbye. Well, either we give him a last little kick or we look for somebody else. When I had a word, he went, you always on me back. And I said, well, don't give me reason to be. Well, tell him to speak to me and I'll explain why. I just say 10 o'clock, but never mind, 25 past, 25 past 10. 19-year-old Zach is one of the hotel's youngest employees. It's his first full-time job since leaving school. It's not my ideal job, not what I want to do, but I'm fine doing it. I'm happy doing it for the time being until I can move on. <laughs> Sorry. It's paying my bills, it's keeping me going. I didn't go out, out, out. I don't care. Not I went out, out, but I still made it. Mark threw me on the bar, I didn't know anything. <laughs> Just make sure you get plenty of lemons chopped yeah. and get the fridges stocked. I don't think we've got the staffing quite right. And I think there's some team members that needs to be replaced. My opinion. Unless Christian starts treating me with a bit of respect. You do your work all right, you get on with it. Christian's a wild card. Obviously, you can have your little scuffles over things like, can you do this? No, I'm doing this. And then it can turn into something more. Remember, you work for you. You work for the money for you. Me and Christian have had a few little times where we've just... <laughs> God, you do this, you do this, no. Making me look like a fool when I don't deserve it. Zach, you pay to work behind the bar. If you want to wander down by the pool, I'll find another barman. And I'm being serious. Zach! Yeah? Stop gassing! All right. At the Grosvenor, 19-year-old Zach's job is on the line, and Christian is on the warpath. Those glasses have been there for over 20 minutes. They have to dry, don't they? Zach, you keep making excuses. I know when I'm not doing things right, I obviously know that, and sometimes they can come in with their input, and obviously it's got to be done, because they are the manager. Um. What? Go on, let me in. Well, Christian was in earlier. Yeah. He took little Zach to one side and kind of told him off. He took a picture of some dishes in the sink and things like that, and says to Zach that if he's not careful, he'll replace him. Now, Zach's upset because Zach... He won't. Z Zach, you know, Zach says, I think, like, you, as if you're trying to set me up. I'm getting a few grumbles. Who do you think the grumbles are from I, and um, why? Christian. Just, just be aware that yeah. we need you to step it up. You know, because otherwise I'll have a go at Christian and then Christian will have a go at you. Do, do you see what I mean? No, and, yeah, no. and I'm probably much nicer to deal with than Christian. <laughs> when people come and sit down, walk round, good morning, good afternoon, how are you? How's your day been? Yap, yap, yap. OK, wonderful. What can I get you? You know? Are you having something to eat or drink first? Always ask a question that doesn't require a no. Come out with a little tray and a pad. That always looks good, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or just walk out casually, you know? J just and, and just smile at them. It's not a nasty sell. You're not selling them double glazing. They don't bloody yeah. want, you know what I mean? It, it's your selling. And then, as you walk back to the bar with the order, you'll have this little buzz of satisfaction that, oh, they bought something because I went and asked them. Yeah. Right? And if you don't have that little buzz of satisfaction, then you're the wrong person. Then you're the wrong person, yeah. Do, do you understand no, what I mean? Yeah. So that's what's going to happen from now on. Yeah. I'll tell Christian to give you a little break for a day or so while you no, get into new fine. mode. But no. Yes, you want that. Thank, Thank you, darling. So I don't know. It might, might be. It may be me. Newlyweds Jane and Mike Watkins have been married for just four days. They're touring Devon for their honeymoon and have ended up at the Grosvenor. Have you seen this? No. We literally just looked at a map and just thought, right, we're going to go to Torquay. Oh, my God. Look at this. Mike used to babysit for Jane's four children, but soon found himself falling in love with their mother. You got everything in, no, my really? makeup. I wear the trousers, though. No, I wear the trousers. You tell me which ones That's to wear. That's right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely right there, Poppet. Don't tell me this is a hidden drinks cabinet. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Ta-da! Oh, no, it's telly. Thought it'd have been the flat screen telly. With that older one? They're probably not HD ready. <laughs> You got roast chicken. Yeah. Traditional Satan and stuff in chipolata with rich gravy. Spanish quiche made with peppers, tomatoes, onions, served warm. Cod durand. Yeah. Lightly poached fillet cod with cucumber, Batons. batons, onion, lemon juice. Cod durani, duranian. Oh, cod durani. Lightly purchased fillet of cod. With cucumber lemon. Sounds good, doesn't it? Good evening. 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 Manager Mark lives in one of his own guest bedrooms. Despite two failed marriages, he's not ruling out the possibility of falling in love again. I hate being on my own. I hate every second of being on my own. I'm not an on my own person. We were together for 28 years. I assumed we would book the two plots in the graveyard together and collect our pensions together, but you know, it just, in, in the end, it just, it just didn't work. Mark's singles night is just two days away, and his son Harry arrives to help with preparations. It's Harry. Hello. Hiya, how are you? I Good remember you. you. Hey, look, I was going to invite you along on a Wednesday night, singles night. You might get lucky. Charming. <laughs> no, it's, it's, apparently it's all the rage, you know? So I've heard. With my dad, the moment he gets comfortable, he... He stands up, basically, and he does something else, and he doubles his workload, you know? He won't sit down, and he won't relax, and he won't get into a routine that bores him, I suppose. Is it coming out? Yeah. Yeah, it's printing all of it. Is it? Yeah. Singles night for the club on a Wednesday is my idea. If people go and meet each other on a Wednesday night the singles, they could then arrange to meet up properly for a weekend. Has it got the word club on it in the bottom? Yeah. Let's have a look. They might end up booking their wedding. Who knows, you know? Always thinking ahead for future business. That's right. Want some serious cleaning outside here? I look at little things like that. I'm a knit, aren't I? A funny marriage, really, Jane, because I mean, we do love each other and yeah. that, you know? And everything just slots into place. We've known each other for years before we actually got together. <laughs> We've been friends for a very long time as well, haven't we? We'd started spending a lot of time together. And then he just sort of rang me and said, oh, I'll come down to Duke. And he just said, oh, I love you. I said, yeah, I know you do. And he went, no, I love you. I went, yeah, I know. I love you too. He went, no, I'm in love with you. I was like, no. Yeah. Yeah, they just escalated from there, really. Yeah. Because that shower's not very good either in to honeymoon suite, is it? Not a power shower like mine. I've had better. You've had a jacuzzi, haven't you? Jacuzzi, yeah. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya, how are you? Burning off me breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got children. You've got none. <laughs> yeah. But you've got mine now. We just talked about it and I said, you know, it falls a lot of kids. I just said to Jane, I said, but I, I do want to get married, like. Callum, he, he just he turned around to you, didn't he? He came in to me and said, Mum, I, I want to call him Dad. I said, well, you need to talk to him about it, then it's up to you. We, we was out in the garden, and I said, do you want to ask me something, don't you? And he said, yeah, and he sort of, like, looked up at me like that, smiling and that. And uh, he said, uh, I want to know if I can call you Dad. And I said, uh, yeah, and it... Sort of got me a bit there, like, you know, and I was like, Phew. I said, of course you can. I said, it's not a problem, you calling me Dad Callum. And I went, he said, oh, okay, then, and then just walked off. I was very honoured, because I do love the boy a hell of a lot. Oh, okay. Hold That's on. been on all the time. It said what? press okay. Well, I did press OK, but nothing happened. What's that, then? 
come down with me, isn't it? So does this get dinner ladies and things like that? It won't get dinner ladies because I'll be on UK Gold. Oh. And it's only three of you. Oh, yeah. But, uh, oh, I don't mind. I mean, we're not, if we were a real honeymoon couple, we wouldn't want telly, would we? That's <laughs> correct. <laughs> I told you, if it was a real honeymoon couple, we got handcuffs behind he the... Wanted, <laughs> no, he wanted to go in on Summers today. I said, don't bother, they're too expensive. What did you want to go and buy? That's the problem. Well, I don't know, because... Well, I said uh, it's a long time since we last rented. Uh, it's it? a kink, he's a kinky sort of <laughs> I said, no, I'm, it's too expensive, we can't afford it. We're on a budget now, we've retired. Hello. They've got a bargain bin there. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later. See, See ya. Bye. You don't get better at it as you get older. You know what I mean? That's as longer. You don't. <laughs> and you don't have as much, you know what I mean? <laughs> so if you take all that... Well, into... it used to be like three Scott, minutes and it? that were it. You know, You'd isn't have it? to go again, but now it lasts as longer because of my body. To be... I have to move in positions, don't I? Yeah, no, <laughs> I have to... I've keep... got arthritis of my hips, my knees. No, I've even got it to my jaw. To. I keep having to have a drink and <laughs> some <somewhat> tea. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I want a new carpet. Yeah. I'd rather see tiles and uh, like mine and a rug than a mucky carpet. Can Zach have a mop here or do yeah. something? It's filthy. Not... This yeah. bit of floor, you know. <laughs> no, Mickey's having a go at me for no reason. I don't know what's wrong with him. He went out last night, but Zach, my um. Dave Barman. What? He sometimes thinks I'm very hard on him. <laughs> so mad. I am probably old fashioned, as if you pay to do a job, you do your job. And not just appear to be on your mobile phone or stand in the car park chatting to your friends That's when there's people at the bar. Or you haven't stocked the fridges up, or there's no glasses or no clean glasses. <sighs> Maybe I am a bit hard. But he's got his job description. If two people came for a bar job and one came from a four-star hotel and he's, he's done a bartendering course and he knows this, that and the other, but his nose is stuck up in the air, and then somebody else comes in and um, they've got a good smile and they're friendly and chatty. Um, they've never actually worked behind a bar before, but they'd like to have a go. I'm going to employ the person that's never worked behind the bar. Can I just add to that, if you don't mind? Mark, who's probably going to kill me again, is probably the worst person who ever interviews Anyone. <laughs> if you've got two arms and legs, you're in, right? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Luckily, yeah. that didn't break. <sighs> Christian's plans for his night at the club are beginning to take shape, and he's come up with a name. Fusion. Why fusion? Because I want to bring together a lot of people with no barriers. Gay, straight, whatever. Christian, yes. don't have the picture. Just sit, honestly, simplify it for today, and then we'll get it done over the next week or two. Yeah, but it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna I can work. do it. I know everything. Excuse me. Right, yeah. excuse me. Look, no, who's the computer expert here? No, I can certainly not you. No, other way. Let me go. No, it's all right. I've got it. It I've just got needs... It. I've got no, it. No, because you're pointing it the wrong way round. No, I know not. how to do it. It's not because I want to type it there and then I'm going to flip it. So no, it goes you don't there. have to. Excuse. Let me show you. I, I have the technology. I'll help. Honestly, if I thought I'd be useless, I wouldn't even offer. This is different than what I'm used to using. <laughs> I don't know how to do this one. Sometimes I feel a bit belittled by him. If we do it, there's a button here that tells you how to layout. do that. Do you need to lay out? Lay out? Yeah, that's oh, I'm, I'm so tempted for. to lay him out. Good evening, Grosvenor Hotel. How may I? Hello. I can't do right for doing wrong at the moment. Uh, he asked me to do something, I'll do it, and it's never right, so he does it anyway. So I want, Mark, do it yourself. Right. Your night. Let me tell you what I'm concerned about. What my worry is, OK, is if the Grosvenor Club has a very successful gay night, OK? Now, wait a minute, and it becomes known for that. If we got a label, right, that could have an effect on other aspects of the hotel. That concerns me. I have a problem if it taints or stops 
other areas of and the I, business. Of that's, course, that's what I've got to think but of. But I know? would hope to think. So what will people think about fusion? That You see, a drag-type night, OK, gives an impression of dressing up and fun. Because, funny enough, you in a frock, it's not offensive gay. Does that make sense? Mm. If it was leather and chains, a sort of a... I know, that actually, that's a fetish thing, but... It is what people that are not in the know perceive gay people to be about. That's what I mean. It's leather and bondage exactly. and all that. Exactly, but, but you in a frock will actually... It that, softens that, it. It's all about how it's marketed, honestly. I don't think Torquay needs an Omni night. I don't think I need one. Some men, obviously, are frightened to walk near one in case it's catching. Yeah. <laughs> Wish it was that easy, Mark. I really do. <laughs> Mark is very old-fashioned, and anything that isn't of the norm, whatever that is, he has been seen to literally go, la, 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 la because he doesn't like to hear something that's a bit different to what he's used to, even though it's part of life. Having put a stop to Christian's grand ambitions, manager Mark wants to make sure that his traditional singles night is the talk of the town. Right, we're going to go off out, and we're going to get some people... We're going to tell some people in for tomorrow. Got to be that's single that's people, aren't they? Got to be single. Well, they haven't got to be. They can... I don't care. We just mean people. Just people. I'm not bothered. And I don't know what age group he's aiming at. I mean, if he's aiming at my age group of people, I mean, we're out of the way here. I don't want gangs of young, young bloody yeah. stag do night. You, no, you know what okay. I mean? People that will spend lots of money. They're the ones. <laughs> that, that'll work for me. <laughs> so, you know what you're going to say? Just, well, watch me, watch me do a couple and then, yeah, we'll, okay. we'll, then, we'll, then we'll do them. It's, it's no bother, you know? <laughs> Hello, ladies. Can I interest you for opening a new club here for single? Are you single ladies? Yes, yeah. too old. <laughs> you're never too old. Are you ladies singles? No. You're not? No. You have You have partners with you? No. Ah, so you're half single? No. <laughs> I know you've got a child, but it's singles night. If you've ever got the time, no, some brilliant you. drinks, no? When you are 18, come back and see us. All right. That guy is definitely single. Right, OK. Are, are you single? <laughs> yeah, I'm Are you? Listen, cocktails two for a fiver. So if you meet anyone in there, cocktails two for a fiver, you can buy them drinks all night, right? See you then. <laughs> Tackled it well. I see how I see how it's. See, it's I see easy. the game now. No, it's easy. Just don't say take no. Just don't yeah. take no. No, 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 it's easy. Listen, I'm gonna have to go and call the bingo. He's putting his obviously everything he's got into Grosvenor Hotel. So all it takes is one what one major slip and it, everything could be gone. On Wednesday we got a good singles night on. It'd be good. Well, it doesn't matter. Listen, bring your partner. Come in separately and then leave together and people will think it works. With the Grosvenor's inaugural singles night fast approaching, the club still isn't ready. Let's have a look there. What do you think? Don't say... Couldn't the letters have been bigger? They could have done, but that's what you've got and that's what you have. No, but the, the Grosvenor bit could have been bigger. There is no in-between. Either everything is right or everything is wrong. And, and most things that happen in the hotel drive me absolutely mental. Like, should the word club have been sat out? Or not? That's how that is. Yeah, no, that's wrong, then. What do you because, look, No, because, look, there's hardly any angle on that club. Honest to God. No, it'll bug me. You're worse than a bloody woman. I've thrown it open to all the staff to make up the numbers. We can't have people walking into an empty club. So what we need is we need all the staff to come, right? It's happy hour drinks, right? They can have an evening out. They can all pretend they're single, right, and chat each other up. It'll work. We need bodies. We must have bodies. Mark has a plan to ensure he outdoes the local nightclub competition. Biggest problem we've got, you're doing a singles night on a Wednesday. I'm going head to head. Yeah. It works. No, 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 because yeah. I, t I tell you, what, I know it works, right? We it need. doesn't cut it in half. What it does is all the people who have stopped going, yeah. were, that did go on a Wednesday, will, will re-come because it's a new venue. So what we need is to infiltrate... The fact they're going to meet the same old dogs there is secondary. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, this is Palm 105.5, playing simply great music for South Devon. It's a little bit chilly, it's getting dark, but don't worry, we've got some fantastic music on the way just for you. The 
the rest of the hotel sleeps. But for Zach, the night is young. His shift finished several hours ago, but he's still at the bar with some of the guests. Some days you're just having a good day at work and you finish your shift and obviously things are going good. Someone around my age staying at the hotel sees me on the bar. You know, it's, it's bound to be the same. <laughs> just talk to them, get to know them. I'm good like that. I mean, that's probably why Mark's kept me all this time. Sensible lad, Dal. You've got a car like that. He ain't stupid, is he? It's 7 a.m. And Zach didn't make it home last night. I had people in the bar till 5 o'clock this morning. Did you? Well, it was actually staff. Really? Mm. I do actually have a rule that says no staff. I didn't I didn't know. No, 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 it's no. not your fault. No. I haven't sort of enforced it. I didn't know it was something I needed it, to enforce. There was. You dirty dog. The dirty dog. I hope they don't look at the CCTV, because the last time staff went down to the pool area, after hours, they got fired on the pool spot. area? Really? You're really going to bring that up? No. When nothing happened, it doesn't all... matter the fact you were down there. Check the footage. Um, doesn't matter what happened. Check the footage. You went down there. If Mark finds out, he'll go absolutely effing mental. Oh. I'm not having a go. I know, I know. Just, right. just, nothing just watch your back. It's Dave. He's just... The Dave That's thinks a... he's funny telling no. little jokes like that he when didn't... nothing happened at all. Zach, you went down there, mate. Chill, mate. You don't take a female that's a guest in the hotel anywhere. It's not my fault she wanted to see the pool, is it? She's had all week. I'm not having a go at you, buddy. Story. I'm not, and it, no, wasn't, it wasn't Dave that told me. I can assure you. Nothing, honestly, nothing, nothing, like... Bad went on or anything like that. Just having a good time after work. Think with that head and not the other one, darling. It's just like Dave's not hey, going to get any stick. That, if I could go back, I can assure you, if I was 17, 18 now, I would not have gone into hospitality. I really wouldn't have. That's yeah, you just have to yeah, really think. Hey? Eh? I'm always wanted. But for the younger ones, it's a stepping stone. It's a summer job. It's in between university and a proper job or whatever. So some of it is a, a stopgap. Come in, because I heard there might be a bar job going. Is that right? It's actually gone, darling. Yeah, I said, oh, that's OK. Sometimes, yeah, I could shake them and because they are frustrating. I was that age once. And you have to give them a bit of slack sometimes. The big day has arrived. And for Nikki, the company secretary, singles night could be just what she needs to find a man. You need to get amongst it. If you get amongst it, then it'll happen. So what do you want? A night on a Well, don't steam. ask her what she wants, because it'll just be <laughs> carnage. No, I know what she needs. <laughs> Plough the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. Wee, hey, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> Say no more. No, she needs someone to look after her, a nice gentleman who's not small. <laughs> <laughs> Little on the larger side. Yeah. He's got his own teeth, his own hair. He doesn't dress like a tramp. <laughs> All the way women's yeah. clothes. It could be the start of a beautiful a relationship. Night. Yeah, and on a Friday night, you could be going out with someone. <laughs> <laughs> it could be, couldn't you? I love it. Saturday, oh. Sunday. I'd have opened Nikki. She's just fed up. I, I so know, she I needs a man. God, I don't want to know. Do you never want to know anything? Well, I don't want to know misery. details like that. Bless her. Just tired, isn't it? Yeah, I know. You don't know. Well, no, I know she's tired. I don't know why. Do you know how I I'm mean, having a laugh. You two, you seem to forget that I've got a child. Really? It was a surprise. You've never mentioned it. <sighs> it's such hard work. Not even worth speaking. Just start speaking to that. Hello? Hello? I've got nobody. I'm all alone. I've got nobody. I'm all alone. No. Why don't you shack up together? I'm all alone. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'd rather be alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no offence, Nicky, so well. <laughs> Without being funny, I think you need a hobby. I've got one. No, 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 it doesn't count. It's like going into no, Narnia I... and your escapism is hiding in wardrobes. No. You know? it's, just, it's the same thing. You're... Yeah, but I've been a lot no, more... Never... No, because I don't sit there bored anymore. I'm a lot busier since I bought this place. Mm. But are you happier? No, you're miserable. No, yes. Yeah. 
No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. You're miserable. No, I'm half happy and half miserable. Okay. <laughs> Although I'm still worried about money, we're slowly moving in the right direction here. So yeah. I'm happy because I know that I'm achieving something. Right. Well, yeah, Do you I know what that. I mean? With yeah. the guests and everything yeah, else. Yeah, when the, when the, from yeah, well, when, when the guests are leaving, <laughs> I know I'm achieving something, you know? Yeah. So, so that, that, that's my hobby. Mm. I don't think he is happy. So everything he does and all the work that he does and how hard he works and, and everything else on top of that, he's still not happy and I don't think he'll ever be happy, which is sort of the reason why I don't think he'll uh, find, find a woman to suit him. Hello? Hang on a sec, just bear me a sec, because I'm in the dining room and I can't talk. How's it going? Are we Four hours to go until the club opening. And manager Mark oversees the finishing touches. Alan, will a hairdryer dry the paint? Oh, shit, Mark, don't be ridiculous. No, we need, we need somebody with a hairdryer. The gloss is soaking wet. When anybody walks in here, they're going to get covered in bloody paint. You know, it's still tacky. I'm having a drink, mate. It's all right. Stop panicking. Well, I'll be panicking if people get paint all over their bloody clothes. You should have thought about that before you left someone in charge of something that well, you should have done. There's no one to blame it's but you. It's his fault. No, he's yours. been in charge. It's not my fault the bloody paint's still wet. Mark is off his head. Right. He's now saying the gloss is still wet. Can someone stand there with a hairdryer to dry it? It's wet down on the door. I can't be asked with it, Christian. You know, it's just one project after another that's completely out of control. We've got three bulbs, one lighting up the Grosner and then club, and the club one's out. It looks stupid. Just, that's all right. Yeah, that'll do. I'll get a proper one. We'll have to just remember to water it. Um, whatever, do we like? Out a little bit. I'm not touching that. Tell you what, boss has lost the plot completely, not really. Oh, my God. What a bunch of muppets. Unbelievable. The other way around. Good. It's too much foliage. Yeah. What? Mm. I can't believe we're doing all this just to get Nikki a bloody man. No, but she needs one. It would have been a lot easier just to pay one for her. Do you know what? I can't stand working with you much longer, I'll tell you. Bye. That's all right. This bit looks all right, though. Oh, shit. Ish. Wednesday, we go to Chatsworth House. Thursday, Chesterfield, isn't it? And the over 60s club. If we don't stop in, lads, let's put it that way. We'd have to stop her in or have we? No. Anyway, that's it. No, we don't stop in because uh, to be boring, wouldn't it? What about glasses? Have we got enough glasses for 100 people? I mean, I know 100 people might not turn up, but we have to assume they might. So, uh... To ensure big crowds for singles night, Mark sends his son Harry and lifeguard Ryan out for a spot of touting. Hi, oh, you guys. You're not interested in a singles night at the Grosvenor Club, are you? No, but it's a happy hour in the bar. Yeah, absolutely. It's still yeah, happy it's... hour. Till when? Nine. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Get them in while you can. And the life changer is. £60 jackpot. Ooh. Upstairs in the lounge, it's business as usual for Christian. So, a sunny holiday in Devon, number seven. While Nikki and her friend Karen are bracing themselves to meet all those single men. Oh, I'm doing a cigarette, shall we? I need some nuts. Four, three, one, four, three. This is a fraudulent slip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm ready to ask you, haven't you? How are you, mate? What's your name? Arlene. Arlene? Yes. A-R-L-E-N-E. Arlene. What are you a toy it? boy, then? What's that? What's the age difference? Eleven. Eleven? Eleven years. Very good. Yeah, she's 39 and I'm 28. Very nice, isn't it, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you ask her to get married? No, then? I didn't ask her to get married then. What did you but say? But I, I just turned around and I said, I love you, Jane. And I said, I know. And she just thought I was joking about it. He's never said that, uh, really, properly. 
Only other than when we're having sex, he'll tell you he loves you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't say I love you, I said, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was a virgin when I met him. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I was 15, but it was 18 before anything uh, on toward. Because mm. he caught Ron Bus home when he got a bit fresh, didn't you, once? Because that's... that's... <laughs> Mind you, that, that would it, weren't well, it? Well, that would it. He weren't a virgin, but I were. Cos I didn't want to know. I didn't know about sex. He wanted to go in on summers yesterday. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> Them days are over. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a wonderful night for you this evening. Come on up, you can. Don't be shy. I'm going to go with the cheap drinks line. I'm interested in doing some cheap drinks for the night, can I? No, you can't. <laughs> All right, then. No, no. <laughs> Can you phone up rent -a mob and get some people in? <laughs> oh, yeah, I couldn't interest you in coming to, into the Grover Hotel tonight. We've got our singles night on. It's, it's not just for signals, it's for uh... oh, escaping. Don't you dare escape. Unbelievable. <laughs> £2.50 a bloody cocktail, and that's not happy hour. <laughs> we'll, we'll just keep extending happy hour until it closes, in case they leave. Happy day. <laughs> Oh, God, here we go. We're all doomed. If I could control the weather, I wouldn't need to run hotels, would I? If I was that clever. <laughs> Would have been busier if it wasn't so rainy. I mean, there's still about 25, 30 people in there, but it's not busy. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, it's the first night of opening it tonight. So. It can only get better. Tomorrow. I can't get any bloody worse. <laughs> Half of them are staff. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sign out. Hold on. was the float? £200. Oh, well, we are doomed then, because it wasn't as great as we thought. There wasn't a lot of us. <laughs> I mean, we kept happy hour until midnight. I was frightened that somebody might leave. But they still left. But, but Mark, the weather was shocking. Even Nicky sent me a text saying, thanks for the night. It was shite. <laughs> Goodbye, bedroom. Don't miss you. I can't believe Nikki's not turning up for work no. today. Is she, uh, is she pulled a sick yeah. yeah. At least I turned up the morning after I got drunk in drag. At least I turned up the next yeah, day. Yeah, that's true. Good morning. How are you this morning? All right? Okay, thank you. Are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm always morning. wonderful. Morning. <laughs> Hello, morning. Welcome. Excellent. All right. Morning. Morning. What tea? Where's my in the kettle? Get me up early. I think you feel more whole when you're married. It's more security, I think, isn't it? I suppose as you get older, you just want that. You know, you've done the wild bit, haven't you? And it's time to sort of settle down and be a good girl. You take care. It's time for the honeymooners to say farewell. Our class. Divorce is a failure. And I don't do failure. And that's it. It has been a big part of my life, this job. It's supported what I've been doing outside for, for two years. But, yeah, I've got aspirations. I've been accepted into uni in September. I'm sure if I come back in the the future looking for any sort of work, they'll remember me, they'll be like, oh, look, here we go. What do you want to do? And, yeah, give me a, give me a job. I thought you were sick. 
food poisoning with a packet of crisps, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing to do with the ten cocktails you had then. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd find it funny. <laughs> what was it like? It was fun. I mean, there were no men, but it was fun. Because it rained, I sort of let it go. What I thought was good was, even with the few people, you felt a little bit of an atmosphere. <laughs> Buying this hotel may just financially be the straw that breaks the camel's back. I still don't know whether this summer I'll do enough to make it. No, I do think it'll be busier next week. You wait, because we're in the paper again this week. You know, I think, no, it'll, it'll build. All I can do is just give it my all and just keep trying to the last. And hopefully, I've done enough to survive. Next time on The Hotel. Prawn cocktail, Black Forest Gatto. You can't beat it, and that's the theme, you know? Profiterole, it's got to be on there. Oh, no. What? Profiterole's a stodge. You've never tasted mushy peas like that in your life. I haven't eaten vegetables since I was 18 months old, and it hasn't done me any harm. How do you spell sirloin? Two syllables. Sir, I'm not Sir Lion. <laughs> 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 <laughs>